Good afternoon, everybody. Well, uh, another video for you to watch here. Right away, I got bugs that bother me. It's, uh, what is it, about 5.30? Yeah. Yeah, well, I don't know how much I'm going to get started today. Um, this is a bench that I built. There's a video on it years ago called From a Futon to a Bench. Uh, my neighbor, who's no longer here, he moved out many years ago, gave me a futon and I made a bench out of it, but uh, it rotted pretty bad, and uh, there is some good wood. Now, if you know me, I do not throw good wood out. I do get rid of rotten wood. I don't use rotten wood. But if I got a board, let's say, eight feet long and three feet of rotted, I'm going to cut off the rotted one and then I'm going to save the other. So I'll take you over here to show you how bad this thing is. All right, the seat is completely shot. Okay, it's all, the boards are all soft. The back, these are like one inch thick boards. I'm going to have to get my fly swatter out. Um, they're good, they're in good shape. The bottom one I don't know yet. So, the legs are pressure treated that I added to it, the uh, one by six. So, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get the saw out and start cutting. Um, we're going to take the, uh, we're going to take the little saw, the Black & Decker. I got it charging uh, thanks to uh, uh, a tip from uh, Jim Asbell. He told me to put it in the kilowatt. He gave me a, a, a phone call, said put it in the kilowatt and see what the uh, wall wart is, is drawing. It's drawing 1.6 watts. And when I wiggled the plug around and held it over on an angle, it is it's drawing 4.7 watts now. So it is charging, but it's only been charging for a short while. So we're going to take and run that on here, and then we'll finish cutting it up with another saw. I'm just going to basically cut these off like this, and then uh, we'll see what we can save out of this. So stand by. Okay, so I got a, a double heavy-duty rubber band on it, and it really pressed very hard on the plug, real hard. And um, it was down to 3.8 watts from 4.7. So it is taking a charge. So we're going to use it, and I'm not expecting it to do a lot. But let's try it out, and then we'll go from there and continue on with other tools. That's good. Now you can see what we got here. Pretty rotted. Now I got a little small pile of wood. I'm going to have to pay somebody to haul out away for me. This is no good. This is one inch thick. This is, um, I would say, one by five or something like that. You know, this wood is no good. Matter of fact, I probably don't. Well, yeah, I gotta cut. I gotta cut that. I can really get that off. Let's see if it sounded like the battery was running down a little bit. So I don't expect it to do very much. So I just wanted to demonstrate this saw, and then we'll get their big reciprocating saw out and do the job right. It's not gonna. It's not gonna do it. It's all right for small things. Rotten. Yeah. Rotten. We'll be back on the video. We're going to get some other tools, but I just wanted to try this out 
and uh, we're going to put it back on charge and we'll be back with you very shortly. All right, with the heavy artillery out here, I didn't expect that saw to do very much anyways. Um, but I figured I'd give it a try. I'm mean, right, it runs down very quickly. But, like I say, if I want to cut one little piece of wood in a tight area where this is too big, then that may be fine. <laughs> Snap it right off. <laughs> no good. Man, All rotten. Don't even need. To. Oh yeah, we're not going to use these. But hey, I'm last, that these here would be good. It oh. lasted all these years. You know? The uh, verticals are also one inch thick. Uh, they look good, and that's the only reason why. I'm probably going to be saving some of those. I don't know about this, but we'll. It makes it easier to cut it like this and then you can just take out the pieces individually. Getting there. Nailed in. We always put the nails down so you don't get in your feet. You get them you in your feet, you know about watch it. Out. You always make, assume every board has a nail, even if it don't. All right. Now. The back pieces are still good. Yeah, but I, I want to. All right, I'll be right back. I'm going to get the hammer and knock these off. I want to try to knock these off with the hammer, if I can. I'm pretty sure that these boards are, I'm able to save. As I told you, I save everything if it's a good piece of wood. It's a shame. I've seen construction of houses years ago that uh, a perfectly good wood, they'll throw them in the dump. It's a damn shame. I hate seeing that. If the wood isn't rotten, I save it, I use it, I build things out of it. This was an all steel hammer I've had probably 30, 35 years, bought a yard sale, homemade, welded, solid steel, painted red like my dad always used to do. Of course I can use the crowbar on this too. That's what I'm going to have to do. All right, let's try to knock out these pieces. I'm trying to save the wood in full length. I might not be able to. I might have to cut them down like this and use from here to the middle or whatever. No big deal, because if there's any rod in here, I'll cut it out. All right, the bottom is up against this thing. Knock this out over here. All right. It's not coming out. It's coming out. But we gotta, yeah, it moved. It's about a quarter inch away. All right, we'll be back. I gotta get a, some more heavy artillery. Tear the bench down, folks. We don't have cookouts anymore, so why keep it up? Yeah, you know, you I know? built this. We had cookouts. And the people could sit here and watch the horseshoe games. Those are the good old days. 
Three quarters of the people that used to come to the cookouts are dead. At least three quarters, if not more. And the rest of them all, kids are all grown up and got kids of their own. Yeah. Yeah. You know, our days are numbered. Nobody bothers with us anymore. Nobody wants to bother with the old folks. The old farts, they don't want to bother with us. <laughs> no. There we go. <laughs> get in there, folks. You get in. That one's right in there. All right. Let's examine this. This is a good piece. You can use that for another project. You better believe it. We got a nail in here, and we got a nail in here. We got to be careful. We're going to set this with nail down. Just be careful, don't walk over here. That's a good piece. We're going to use that. As we said, we save everything. That is usable. Yep. Just a nail hole here. Uh, a little on elongated hole here. And there's a little crack here. We cut it off here. So we've got a piece over six foot long and good. Now, nothing wrong with this wood. It's been out here all these years in weather. And what I'll do is I'll, I'll cut them to length, whatever's bad, I'll cut it off. And there's enough room underneath the electronic shed I can put the... Uh, pieces under there. Alright, now I don't know about this one here. I'm leaving it on for support for now because I want some stability when I start knocking this thing apart. That's in there. I'll tell you what, that's not rotted. That's in there. Let's get these out of here. This whole top is all falling apart. So we don't care about that. We're not going to save that. I'm not sure about the fascia board here. You never know. isn't any good. And we got a nail right here. We gotta <coughs> gonna put these got two nails in here. We're gonna put this down. Just stay away from this pile until I denail it. Oh that bottom one does not want to come out of there. You might have to cut it out. I, I might have to cut it out. That's, 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 one, that's one inch thick. I'm not sure. I think it's pine, but I'm not 100% sure. It appears to be pine. A futon wouldn't be made out of anything else, I don't think. That's what this was at one time. I converted it into a bench. Let's see if I can knock this out. Yeah. I don't have a sledgehammer. I don't own one, I never had a need for one. Here we go. Hey, it's coming out. 
How about that, huh? Yep. You get it. <laughs> piece, good piece of wood that there. That looks like a good piece. Let's take a look at it here. Yeah. This end here can be cut right here. We got about a foot we got to cut off. We got good stock all the way through here. And we got to cut this off. This is bad here. So we cut a foot off of here, cut a foot off of there. And we got ourselves a hunk of wood that we can make something out of. Yes sirree, Bob. Bad eyesight, you know how that is. These are screws. That's why it's so hard getting out. Uh, they're not coming off with a Phillips, they're breaking off. So, uh, like it or not, we're going to have to be very careful when we reuse this wood to cut when we cut it. Because I'm not going to be able to get these out. You can't pull them out with the claw hammer. Because they're screws, and I'm going to get them out. I will work on that. It's getting, you know, the, into the shaded area here. And I want to try to knock this apart if I can, and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to saw this, break this down. Now, down on the legs, there's bolts in here, and I believe I put those in, carriage bolts, when I added legs to this. So I'm going to cut this down, cut this here. I'm going to cut this here, so there's two sections. I'm going to remove this by cutting it because I don't think this wood is any good. This is definitely shot. I don't know about the face here. If I can save some of it. Then i got to get it up on the bench where I'm not breaking my back hunching over. <laughs> and and uh, try to get the uh, screws out with uh, vice grips. Uh, so that's what we're going to do here. So uh, let me get the saw out. Get the screw off to the side so we're not stepping in it. And we'll cut this thing in half. Now you see that's no damn good. This part I don't know yet. Right now it's just going into the pile. And we'll worry about that later. There are nails in this, but there's a lot of screws also. Okay, so. So far so good. It's coming down slowly but surely. Yeah, it is. It's got a lot of nails in it though. Galvanize. Looks like a number 10. Now these verticals are in good shape. Even the ends.
know, this piece maybe, well, we won't know until we take it all apart and see. If I can get uh, one third of the wood out of this thing, I'm happy. This end is not too good, but I can cut this here. This is bolted down here. There's nails or screws, but there's also bolts that I put in here. And it could have came that way as a futon also. It's getting there. Yep. Took the middle piece out. Now this is good stock. This is, uh, I would say that's a 2 by 10 a one by ten, I'm sorry, one inch, it's a two, it's a two one inch. This is about a, about a one by six. This is all the original futon wood. The only part that I added are these legs down here, they're one by six, pressure treated, that my neighbor, the one that gave me this, uh, got for me because he used to do contractor work and he'd bring me home scraps of pressure treated wood which I was gladly willing to accept alright now what we have got here is a hunk of rotten wood <laughs> ah. I uh, finally figured out how to get this out it was a little tricky but I got the blade out but I uh, Still got the old one in there because it's still pretty good. All right, we are going to cut this. Look at that. She's standing up all by herself there. <laughs> Been in the ground so many years. There it goes. Fall over. All right, now we're going to put this up on the bench. We're going to be working on that tomorrow. Start working too late, you get the damn mosquitoes out. There's some salvageable wood in there. It's mm -hmm. pointless having this thing. I just had the water bottles. People have asked me about the water bottles. Uh, when we lose power, we lose water. It has nothing to do with our power. The park owner supplies that has a pump uh, system, and uh, you know. So when we lose water. I mean, power in a hurricane or something, you can't flush the toilets, and that's all it's for, uh, for that. And we have bottled water and drinking water and stuff like that in the house. So that's the story there. So now we're going to, let me see if I have to even cut that. I might be able to break that off. All torn apart. Been sitting so many years. Surprised it lasted this long. Well, yeah, because it's not pressure treated wood except for the yeah. except for the uh, the legs I put on. And uh, it looks like a screw in there. I'm not sure. I am not sure. I had McDonald's for lunch today. Yeah, well, it's about the only show in town. It was good too. Yeah. My chicken sandwich. You know, you gotta, you gotta eat, you know, and you can't always be choosy of what you get. My chicken sandwich, small fry, and uh, chocolate milk. Anybody want some rotten wood? Thanks for the taking. I'll back your truck up and take it. You're welcome to it. But you can't have the good wood. You can only have the rotten. How's that sound? Ain't I a rotten guy for offering you rotten wood? <laughs> uh, I don't think that one's any good. Um, but right now, we're going to start bringing these over. i got to get these nails out. So, uh, we're going to get them over on the bench here. Regardless of whether the wood is uh, good or not, the nails must come out for it's safety even, reasons. You even got lines in the ground from the bench. Yeah, holes. That's from sitting all these years. I mean, the last cookout we had was 2009, and uh, I don't think we really use it all that much. 
because it was built maybe a year or two before our final cookout. And we've been having cookouts since I lived here, since our first cookout was 1985. 1985 is our first cookout. Oh, show me the way to go home. I'm tired. <laughs> Not yet. Not yet. I still got energy. Put this over here for now, so I can have some room for getting this wood up here. All right. Um, we'll join you on the other side. Okay. We've got bolts that are, are here. We even got a wing nut here. I don't think I did that. I wouldn't put a wing nut on something like that. I could have been my neighbor that did that, but I've added carriage bolts over here with to hold the leg on. But anyways, um, we're going to take a vice grip and we're going to try to get the screws out. But right now, we've got a hazardous board here, and we got to get these nails out. This is the piece that hat was on the top. This end is not much good. I could rip it down on a table saw. It's not worth the, running the electricity for that. Just to save a small piece. So this is not going to get saved, but I do need to take the nails out. because it's uh, rotten. Yeah, and the sun starts going down and it makes it hard for me to see and it becomes a hazard for me. Gotta have a lot of light when I work. That's rotten, that's rotten, that whole end, but still and all, you can pull a nail right out of the wood without even a hammer. Um, you still need to make it safe. There's no screws in this part of it. All nails. Yeah, but on the bottom where the seat is, and I think the leaning back was. Don't forget I made part of this, I did myself. Uh, making uh, the rest of the wood from the futon, which was spread out more, I used some of that for the front part of the seat, and that's what this is. And that's why there's nails in there. There's a reason for everything. It looks check better there. The this is how you check for nails, Tom. Make sure you didn't miss any. If there was a nail there, you'd hit it. Because you don't trust your eyes. Don't use your hand to go over that. You'll be very sorry. <laughs> Always check the back side. That's clean. That's ready for the that's ready for the backyard uh, wood pile. We'll put that over there. Um these are bolted in. We're gonna deal with these tomorrow if it's not hot. I can't work when it's hot. It's supposed to be 80 degrees tomorrow. I don't work when it's hot. I have no patience. I'm short fused when it's hot. That's how you check for nails, huh? That one doesn't want to go. So you know what you do? Take a vice grip. When you do go back to the wood shop, take a vice grip. Give it a turn like that. Keep it in there. Get it started. Put some weight. Put some, uh, 
something under it to keep the wood from bouncing. Now you see, it's still not wanting to go down. And if you continue that, you'll bend the nail over. This is what I do when I put finished nails in. I use a vice grip or, well actually I use a pair of pliers. Nail is turning and I, I, stra I hold the, the body of the nail, the shank of the nail, so it doesn't bend and then hit it down and it still bends over so we may have to break it off because it's not coming through the other end and I, I'm turning that. That nail is turning but it's not coming through the other side. I don't feel the head coming through yet. Nope. That's not going to come through. So. So far, the battery's holding out on this Kodak. Good. We're going to see if we can pull it out this way. If not, yeah. All right, we pull it. You know why? That's a screw. That's it. I couldn't see the head. That's why it wouldn't. It turned. That's a screw. All right. You probably can't see that. Ah. All right, but that section of the wood it will probably be cut off anyway. So that's how you check for nails, huh? Better than running your hand over it. We got one here. That's a nail. This wood here. This wood's not good either. Rotted at the end. All right. But we got to make it safe. Comes out. I could pull it out with my hands. Nail here. Actually, a piece of wood here. <laughs> well, we should tie that thing down. It looks better without it there anyway. Alright, it's got a nail in it. We this small piece we just bend the We're not using it, we bend it over so it's safe. That'll go in the scrap pile. This will go in the scrap pile. Okay folks. Uh, everything else is pretty repetitious. Um, tomorrow or whenever I get a chance when the weather is decent um, I got to take my wrenches and try to take these bolts out and uh, I can see that there are screws in here so I'm going to try to remove those but those will all be done off camera and I've got quite a bit of wood over there that's usable and there are some more pieces over there that are not any good and they got to be cut down and scrapped. Uh, the wood here, this is pretty good. It just got a hole where the nail was in. It's good and solid here. We don't have any problem. Maybe a little bit here, but only about a quarter inch down. So that's a good piece of stock. This is one by six, pressure treated, same with this. And this is pine or whatever, this was the original futon. So I got bolts and nails and screws in here. So I'm going to be working on these, but I'm not going to be making a video of it. And I got nails here to take out, I got to basically take these end pieces apart and the middle section here apart. There's another good piece of wood here. And that's a screw right there. I can feel the threads on it. So that's going to conclude the video. Um, the wood is pretty good over there. I'm going to probably say a good third, maybe almost a half of what this is, is usable. The end here is a little messed up because I pulled it out and you know twisted it over so I just cut this off here and the rest of the stock is good so it'll be handy for something I'll build something out of it until we meet again 
whatever it is you do, don't put off tomorrow what you can do today, because you may just like it today, and you might want to do the same damn thing again tomorrow. Take care, everybody.